In the land of Mordor, in the fires of Mount Doom, the Dark Lord Sauron forged in secret a master ring to dominate all life. One ring to rule them all. One by one, the free lands of Middle Earth fell. Lands of Middle Earth fell to the power of the Ring. Yet, when all hope had faded, the king's son Isildur took up his father's sword and cut the Ring from Sauron's hand. For two and a half thousand years, the Ring was lost. But in time, it passed to a hobbit who carried it to Rivendell, where a great council was called to decide the Ring's fate. Nine companions would form the Fellowship of the Ring to see, Fellowship of the Ring to, see to its destruction. Frodo Baggins and his faithful friend Sam Gamgee would scale the slopes of Mount Doom and cast the Ring into the fire from whence it came. To draw Sauron's eye from the Ring-bearer, Aragorn, heir of Isildur, marched upon the Black Gate of Mordor and challenged the armies of the Dark Lord. As Aragorn and his army approached the Black Gate, Sauron prepared to empty all of Mordor to oppose him. We can give Frodo his chance if we keep Sauron's eye fixed upon us. For Frodo. or we'll be overrun. Balrog? There weren't any Balrogs at the Black Gate. That was in Moria, silly. Oh, pardon me, Mr. Frodo, sir, if I don't spend all my time listening to Dad's stories. Frodo! Frodo! Frodo Gamgee, where are you? Go on, Mother's calling. 
bet she's going to make you help with the party. It's been 15 years since Mr. Frodo and I made the journey to Mount Doom to destroy the ring. With Sauron defeated, Aragorn was crowned King of Gondor. Now, the King is coming to the Shire, and a great party is being held in his honor. Of course, as Mayor of Hobbiton, it's up to me, Samwise Gamgee, to see that everything's ready. I'll be needing some help, and I think I know just the lad. You see, Mr. Frodo left with the elves, but there's still a Frodo living at Bag End. My son, Frodo Gamgee. Frodo Gamgee, your father needs your help. He's waiting for you down by the great tree in the party field. Off in the woods again, son? Well, it's a day for having fun with the King's visit and all. We're setting up some stalls with trials of strength for folk. I need you to make sure they're not too hard. Why not talk to the sword stall owner? They'll tell you what to do. Hello, Master Frodo. Your father sent you, did he? Good. You seem just the lad for the job. All I need for you to do is try and knock over all the dummies. Are you ready to start? In you go, then. I hear you did a fine job at the sword stall, Sock. I think you've earned a reward. Here, two silver pennies to spend it. Now maybe you could try another job. We the party's starting soon, so go talk to the stall owner. He'll tell you what to do. The party's starting soon, so go talk to the stall owner. He'll tell you what to do. Why? If it isn't young master, I'm glad your father said it's easy, really. What do you say? What? Well then, let's get started. Oh, and be careful. Those cabbages will hurt if they hit you.
Well done, son. It was a day. If you've got any bumps and bruises, check the barrels around. Oh, and here. Now then, off you go. The attendant will explain what you need to do.